ship is currently turning round and every minute it's got a new view, it's absolutely stunning. The ship will dock just to the right hand side there, so it's very near the main town and the old town. We don't actually have any plans today, but we're going to get off and go for a wander, see where we end up, uh, but it'll probably be McDonald's. But first, and most importantly, we are going for breakfast. This morning we're having breakfast in the Keys, which is really handy because it's the deck below us on deck 8. And quite often it's very quiet, it's got a lot of the food that's similar to the buffet, but it's just not as busy. my standard breakfast if you've seen my previous vlogs and will see in upcoming ones. We've been to Stavanger before and went on the hop on hop off bus which do not recommend as it goes around houses so today we're just going to go for a walk and show you where we end up. On all of the decks by the stairwells and the lifts they have very important information that changes on this board so it'll show you where the gangway is and also where you need to go if you've got a short experience booked. So this is really the first time we've been able to see the ship up close because at Southampton the terminal was in the way. Didn't realise this moves, thank you boat. <laughs> We've just come over to this market to buy a very cheap magnet. Just round the other side we've found some random stairs and we're going to see what's at the top. Make sure you have a look down all the side streets you pass as some of them are so pretty and colourful. Fish. Make sure you check out the old town which is just opposite the cruise ship. It's really pretty and people do live here so just be mindful of that. Sun's out and that means it's time for a cocktail. To be honest, I'd still have one if it was raining. Yeah, they're, they're all, they're all exactly the same. Same, yeah. There's not much There aren't any food places by the infinity pools, so don't be scared to go somewhere and bring some food back. It was also at this moment that I realised we didn't go to McDonald's. Disappointing. Someone's feeding them chippies. So we are now back in our cabin. We've had a lovely stay in Stavanga today. Uh, we had a little walk around the port and then came back and went to the infinity pool on deck 18. And we are now sailing away from Stavanga. Let me get this in focus. Actually, I'll just take a video outside. For dinner tonight, we are heading to Sindhu, so we'll take you along with us. We are all dressed up and ready to go to dinner at Sindhu. The lighting's a little bit dark in here so it might be hard to see the menu. 
So pause to read if you need to. We've been given some poppadoms with chilli jam. That is delicious. For my starters, I've gone for the cumin and chilli butter chicken breast and Mark's gone for the tandoori lamb cutlets. For mains, I've gone for the beef fillet and Mark's gone for the duck breast. And with it comes sides of naan breads, vegetables, dal and rice. So we've just had a lovely dinner in Sindhu and we're currently in the Sky Dome waiting for the show to start. They were having some sound problems in the Sky Dome so we've just come to the Keys for a little dessert. I didn't pick it up looking like this. This was after a fork fall had been taken out. I forgot to show this morning this little extra bit around the side for drinks and extra food. Just having a quiet drink for our first visit up in the crow's nest. We've grabbed our hot chocolates from Vistas, come back to the cabin and as you do with a boyfriend that loves football, we're watching football. Good night and see you tomorrow in Alden. Thank you for watching part two of my Norwegian Fjords vlog series. Please like and subscribe and head over to my Instagram Travel Life with Lucy to see more content. Stay tuned to see what we get up to in Alden. Bye!